All right, I'll be the first to say it. We've been covering some cosmic wonder quite a bit. <laughs> There's always something to talk about when Spider-Man's a he's, he's our go-to Spider-Man guy. He's the guy. He's Spider-Warren. He's our Spider-Warren. Hey, he's he our, loved that. He's our cosmic He spider. loved that. Spider-Warren. Spider-Warren. Just the other day, I stepped out for a minute. It's not even covered a Warren video. That's right. I, I jumped in. I was like, you know what? I want Warren all for myself today. You did it. Wanted an intimate chat with Warren, and I got it. Warren messaged me saying, like, Don't you ever let him do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll yes and that. Thanks, man. <laughs> I will never do that again. I was going to make a different joke. We are right. <laughs> Spider-Man, something about a trailer breakdown. Trailer images, breakdown. I didn't title description, this. Description, right opening way. scene, leak. And the trailer's it's, definitely it's, coming soon. It's in the title of this video. <laughs> All right. It should come this month or next month for sure. But let's see what information is in store. What's going on everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder and it looks like today we might have an actual release date for the trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home. And it looks like <laughs> I we love even this have news. a slight description of the teaser trailer oh, and God. what to expect from it. I feel like there's so a couple perpetual of drum accounts, roll. Two very reputable accounts claiming that they know when the trailer is going to come. And the way that they claim they know the trailer is coming is very legitimate. So the reports of these two people that we'll dive into in just a bit combined with the fact that Sony has started to change some of their background banners on their official YouTube pages and Twitter accounts and the fact that we are starting to get merchandise for Spider-Man No Way Home all combined lead us to believe that we do indeed know when the trailer is coming. And you know what's so funny about this? Sony doesn't need to release a trailer. They don't. They don't. <laughs> like we're, everyone is taking care of all the promotion for them. A trailer is supposed to build hype and anticipation. We've already got that taken care of on our own. <laughs> all of us do. We don't even need a trailer. They That's just, just so funny about this. They should just do the Blumhouse tilt route and just go all digital, no P&A <laughs> campaign or anything. There are so many, uh, us included, are such a big contribution to this free advertising. videos about when a trailer is coming. It's like the actual movie. <laughs> we are advertising for the advertising. It's so funny. And not only that, but it looks like we also may know what happens in the very beginning of Spider-Man No Way Home, which of course I'll go over as well. Also, quick reminder that I will be announcing the Stormbreaker giveaway winner today. Look out for a community post by me or a video later on in the day today posting who the winner is. So, some of you may have heard about the Instagram account Comic Book Savage. I got a lot of different no. DMs Who's about this, this Instagram account, and on this person's Instagram, they said, My friend <laughs> who works at a local movie theater just confirmed they got the No Way Home Tomorrow? trailer. It's 100% dropping Tuesday. What? And coincidentally, Tuesday, tomorrow, is Tom Holland's birthday. So, oh. it seems like oh, we I want to get some have sleep. been accurate enough because <laughs> Marvel and Sony were indeed no going to drop the trailer. <laughs> on Tom Holland's birthday. Just like they did for Shang-Chi and the Legends of the Ten Rings teaser trailer, they dropped it on Sima Liu's birthday, who of course is playing Shang-Chi. Sure. However, there are some other reports that state that yes, the theaters do have the trailer, but it might not be coming on Tuesday. This account may have just <laughs> heard that like... yes, the theaters have the trailer and could have <laughs> assumed that it is dropping Tuesday, just because that's Tom Holland's birthday. Right. But another reputable account, which I'll talk about in just a bit, did say say that the trailer is in, however, we might not get it for another couple of weeks. Now, I did a little bit of digging about Paddington 2. Yeah. It looks like they're actually <laughs> followed by Jamie Foxx himself. Wow. So that definitely adds some credibility. But I think what really makes this report credible is the fact that this person isn't the only person reporting this. Skylar Schuler over at the Diz Insider, a very reputable site and podcast, has also confirmed okay. this to be true. He posted a screenshot of a text message conversation conversation between him and his friend who works at a theater as well. Skylar tweeted this out and said, had to ask a good friend, hashtag Spider-Man no way home. He asked his friend in the theater if they have the trailer end and he replied with, one sec, I gotta pull up the projections for the week, so it looks like we have it. So this is another confirmation. Get that friend that fired! Spider-Man no way home teaser trailer, which Reveal their identity! Dropping, and hopefully this week. If comic book savage is correct, it could be 
dropping tomorrow. However, Skylar Schuler says that it will most likely come in two weeks with the release of Peter Rabbit. So at this point in time, Peter the only thing Rabbit, really that sure is Peter that Parker, this trailer perfect. is going to drop <laughs> within the next two weeks, which is super exciting. And hey, hopefully it drops tomorrow. But this isn't the only news that we got today. We actually have a little bit more information about the plot of Spider-Man No Way Home. And it seems like we actually have a description of what to expect from the teaser trailer. I really hope a part of him is like, <laughs> it would be cool if it came out tomorrow because of Tom Holland's birthday. Yeah. It would be cool. However, those are early. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. What's to say that they're not going to have to set a precedent then and just start only dropping teasers on people's birthdays? It's going to get out of hand. I mean, yeah, it's like just because the theaters got the trailer doesn't mean it would... Because nothing like, not like a new movie's coming out tomorrow and they're like, we got slapped slap trailer Tuesday, on Tuesday. Gotta get this out from yeah, that negro. Exactly. That's what I mean. Like, they're not going to just start putting it... They're going to wait for a new release yeah, to slap the trailer big. on. Yeah, that's how it works. I 100% percent would believe that theaters already have the trailer and they're probably making sure it runs well and all that it doesn't mean it's going to come out tomorrow not necessarily no yeah. i mean they they have to get these things stocked in advance mm -hmm. but if it does get ready for a very stressed out dark circles looking john and i tomorrow <laughs> what if they just drop it in the theaters only for like a week <laughs> Looks like we're sneaking a camera and <laughs> getting kicked out of Cinemark permanently Forever. after that. <laughs> so there's a Twitter account called No Way Home Teaser that apparently had a description of what the teaser trailer is going to be like. They originally posted the description in Spanish, but it has been translated. And thank you to my Discord for pointing this out. And this says, Peter is being sought after by the FBI for murder. There is a very quick scene of police breaking into the house with his aunt there in fear. From what the teaser shows us, Peter surrenders, and it's very serious what is going on. Almost the entire time, Peter is living on the street in what they show in the trailer, but Doctor Strange appears. The teaser starts with Peter inside some type of establishment. He takes food and runs away in an alley. Oh. It shows a guy from the newspaper talking about him, which I'm presuming is JJJ, and then he enters an abandoned shed, then shows his aunt crying. Now, obviously, this translation isn't a perfect translation. It's not word for word, and a lot is missing from it. But based off of what we do know, this makes a lot of sense because we know No Way Home is going to pick up immediately after the events of Spider-Man Far From Home. So that means Peter's okay. identity was just revealed. He was just framed for murder. So it would make sense that the FBI would be going to his house where they know he lives. Of course, right. Doctor Strange is widely known to be in the film, so it would make sense that they would show him. I would not expect Tobey Maguire or Andrew Garfield <laughs> oh, to God. make an appearance in the teaser trailer. Not in the teaser. All right, so there's something I'm not quite getting here. All right, because it's saying that the FBI... I don't believe it. <laughs> I, was gonna say, I don't believe this. He's with Aunt May, and then... And he surrenders to the FBI. And then he's in an alleyway. But then he's homeless the rest of the teaser. Yeah. <laughs> and they're saying there's an opening scene, not even the teaser, mm -hmm. right? Either way, I'm like, wait a minute. Why would he just be at home yeah, and I mean, surrendering like, himself to the FBI. I feel like he wouldn't necessarily be able to go home unless it's one of those things where he went home to like pack really quick, but then why is he packing if he's going to just surrender to the FBI? I feel like Peter Parker would know better. Yeah, especially after, you know, being framed and knowing he's being framed. Yeah, like right after this scene where he's looking at himself in, what is that, Times Square? Yeah. And he's like, no, I gotta go home. <laughs> <laughs> like, but there's no way to get... <laughs> like Peter Parker would, would know that's uh, it's gonna put Aunt May in a lot of danger. Yeah, I don't I'm know if kind I of that. interested in the idea of like, oh man, Peter's been roughing it out on the streets. Yeah, I don't know how this whole FBI thing figures it. <laughs> like, I can imagine Peter trying to be a good guy and be like, okay, I'll go with you, but at the same time, he didn't, he didn't do it. So as far as the actual plot of Spider-Man: No Way Home is concerned, I've posted a lot of different plot leaks and rumors and reports on my channel. Really, anytime something's <laughs> popped up that gives us a little bit of information about the film, I've pretty much reported, and it looks like based on off of all of the information that we've seen out there, we know a pretty decent amount about the movie based on all of this information. Things like Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man and Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man returning from their respective universes into the MCU. We've heard that the Green Goblin from the Sam Raimi Tobey Maguire universe is going to be the main villain of this film. And of course we know about other villains returning like Jamie Foxx's Electro, Alfred Molina's Doc Ogg, and more villains essentially almost making up the Sinister Six 
six, although it's unclear on whether or not they'll call them that in the film. Mm. So it looks like we have a lot. However, it doesn't look like we know everything, which is awesome because we want to be surprised, obviously. But according to <laughs> Superhero Theorist on Twitter, they say, there are so many things you guys don't know yet. I pray that Sony somehow finds a way to tape up the faucet to avoid leaks because this film really is absolutely bonkers based on what I've seen. For Spider-Man fans, emotions will run high when the film drops in December. So this movie is looking like it's actually going to be very, very big. Obviously, if the Spider-Verse is involved with the other two Spider-Mans, but it looks like there's a lot more in store for us that we don't know yet, which is awesome. I would but hope so. But speaking of things that we might actually know already, some things I've talked about in the past are how the villains end up in the main MCU timeline in our universe from their universe. Okay. Well, it looks like we're going to figure that out in the very beginning of the film. Sure. The Twitter user of viewer Anon, who has been right about multiple leaks in the past for previous Disney Plus shows, has stated what to expect in the beginning oh. of the film, which he says is act one. And here's what he had to say. The Sinister Six Structurally, are all from that makes other sense. universes, and remember, they're dying. Specifically, they're dying at the hands of Spider-Man. Then we know that they somehow end up getting taken from their respective universes and into the main MCU, which has Tom Holland's Peter Parker Spider-Man. And the leak says that this causes great, great guilt photo. in yeah. Holland's Peter, and he ends up doing something stupid against Doctor Strange's orders. Now, of course, we know that Doctor Strange is going to be Peter's mentor in the film, and and of course, that makes a lot of sense because the multiverse is essentially going to be breaking or bursting into madness. And Why it would it like cause him guilt? Repercussions are going to be for Peter Parker. Uh, Villains coming into his sure. universe from other universes where Spider-Man, not him, but other Spider-Man, have caused them to essentially die in their respective universes. So Peter, being the good guy that he is, is going to go against Doctor Strange's orders, which of course is going to be, don't try to fix anything from other universes, let me fix that. But Peter's going to go, against the orders and probably do something a little bit foolish that's going to make for a pretty good movie. And perhaps that's why Doctor Strange could bring in the other Spider-Man. But fortunately, it looks like we don't have to wait much longer for the teaser trailer. Now, I do want to point out that Comic Book Savage did say the trailer is going to be on Tuesday. However, Skylar Schuler did not specifically say Tuesday. He just said that the theaters have the trailer. So hopefully it does come out on Tuesday, but if it doesn't, it is definitely coming very soon, probably the this week. Now, it would make sense to come out on Tom Holland's birthday. That would be awesome. So let's hope that, but don't give up hope if it doesn't come Tuesday. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe. I will never get a trailer. All the latest <laughs> news. Don't forget to comment below how excited you are to see the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. Don't forget to like the video and for live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof. I don't know what to believe. I don't either. The thing is that even if we have heard some actual legitimate descriptions, I don't think they'll sound as good as they'll look in the actual movie. I think everything will sound convoluted and silly until we actually see it. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a very good point. All right, guys. Well, I'll stress out over the next what's looking like almost 24 hours. <laughs> oh my Wake god, is it out? Time. Is it out? Oh my Just god, is it out? Case. Leave your thoughts down below. Thank you, Warren, for covering this. Thank you for being our go to sponsor. Spider-Man guy, subscribe to Warm for all the latest Spider-Man updates. Hit that like button, last but not least, <laughs> Mikhail Linden. Mikhail, here's the deal. <laughs> we actually have a shout out for you on a different video. Yes. That video is supposed to go up this week, but there was a sponsor who's uh, taking forever to approve the damn video. Yes. And uh, I don't know why. It's probably the easiest sponsorship it's, we've ever had to do in our lives. Yeah, the least amount of talking points. And yet, it's taken forever for it to get an approval. So I was like, well, there's something that's coming out of May. So I just wanted to hop on here real quick, Mikhail, to tell you, you'll get a real proper shout out when that video is released. Like tomorrow or Wednesday or <laughs> it, Thursday or coming, something. It's coming, man. You'll see it and Sometime you're gonna like it. <laughs> so this is your temporary shout out in the meantime. Yeah, man. Ooh, look just at so how nice hit this one is The though. May deadline for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, stay strong out there, Mikhail. Love you. Sending you hugs. James Bond, October 8th, 2021. See you, buddy.